Hi, I'm Jesus, and this video is going to look at 5 key tips to profit from the Steam Summer Sale, sponsored by Trade Skins Fast, a site where you can trade skins fast, and I'm also giving away a knife. Link is in the description. So the Steam Summer Sale is hitting more or less as I publish this, and because it's going to cause a temporary drop in the prices of a lot of skins, it's a pretty good time to invest, and I wanted to run through 5 key tips to making a profit. Now, this isn't the first video I've done on this topic. You can also check out this video, which I'll link in the description. It's got some additional information that you might find useful, but this video should cover the important points that you need to know. And the first important point is to figure out how long you want to invest for. Now, this may sound redundant, but it's actually really important. You should go in with a good sense of how long you want to wait before you get your money back, because it's going to dictate what you end up investing in. Now, naturally, this will affect what sort of return you make. And speaking in very rough terms, if you want to invest for one to two months, you might make about a 15% profit. If you want to invest for more like six months, you might make a 30% profit. And if you want to invest for more like 12 months, you could make a 50% profit or more. Although this last category is definitely more speculative and more risky. So figuring out what type of waiting period and profit is acceptable to you going into this is really important. And it's also the bedrock of tip number two, which is identifying the skins that work for your type of investment. Now, I can't list specific skins in this video. It's well known that I fuck with the prices of everything I touch. However, identifying a skin that's a viable investment during the summer sale isn't hard. You just have to look at its price history and see if it's dropped 10% or more after the sale started. That's it, it isn't complicated to do. However, you want to make sure you're selecting stuff from the right categories as well. Firstly, a general rule. Skins that are worth less than 15 US dollars won't really be affected by the sale that much. You're looking for stuff that's worth less than this. Secondly, as for those categories I showed a moment ago, well, my advice is this. If you're doing a very short-term investment, buy skins from recent cases and skins from collections that are actively dropping because these skins are high volume, so short term, they should be a bit more reactive to changes in market conditions, which is what you want to leverage if you're making a short term investment. If you're doing a medium term investment, so a six month investment, invest in skins from older cases, skins that aren't really unboxed anymore and are generally going up in price. This will allow you to leverage the boost the market gets around late December and early January because these skins aren't as likely to fall in price in the meantime. And finally, if you're investing longer term than this, so up to 12 months, look at buying some stickers from recent majors because these have a lot more potential to multiply in value over the year but are inherently more risky and unpredictable. Now, once you know what you're buying, we get to the third tip which is to actually buy the right way. And there is only one way that you should be buying during the summer sale, and that's with buy orders. Buy orders are how you ensure you get your skins for the minimum possible cost. They allow you to buy at 5 to 15% under the usual market price, depending on the skin, and are absolutely essential to maximizing the profit that you make from your investment. The only situation where you should buy something manually off the market is if you're intentionally sniping something with a super low float or rare stickers. Otherwise, always use buy orders. On top of this, it's also important that you diversify. This is tip number four. Don't go all in on one type of skin or one type of sticker or even two or three types of item. Buy a range of stuff. If it's skins, get a mix of different weapons from a mix of cases. If it's stickers, buy a mix of stickers from different majors. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. There's always going to be some items that perform very poorly as investments and some that perform it very well. So spread yourself out so you can't be brought down by one dud item. And finally, tip number five, cash out once and only once. Now, what I'm referring to with this is sales tax. When you cash out your investments, whether it's on the Steam market or on a trading site or an actual cash out site like Skin Baron or Bitskins, make sure you're only selling your items once because you'll lose a chunk of your profit to sales tax no matter where you're selling. And the key to maximizing your profit is to keep this to a minimum. So figure out what you want to do with your investment when you're ready to sell it off. And when the time comes, go straight to the source. If you want Steam wallet funds, sell everything straight onto the Steam market. If you want other skins, go straight to a trading site and exchange your stuff there. 
if you want cash, go straight to a cash out site and sell there. Just make sure that you're doing only one set of transactions. Otherwise, sales taxes could eat up most of your profit, which isn't ideal. You, you want to be making some profit if you're investing. So those are my key tips. Also, I have to apologize for a rather dull delivery here. Uh, I'm under the weather, but I promised this video, so here it is. Also, before I go, I'd just like to mention TradeSkins Fast. TradeSkins Fast is a trading site where you can trade for items for a range of games, including Team Fortress 2, Dota 2, and most importantly, CSGO. It's way cheaper than using the community market, a far smaller sales tax, it's quick, it's convenient. If the item you want still has a trade hold on it, just send in your offer and it'll move to your on-site inventory. Also, at the request of the owners, I'd just like to show you that if the items you want are on a couple of different bots, you'll get offers from a couple of different bots. Apparently this freaks some people out. You don't need to worry about it. It's just because the items you want are on a couple of different accounts, so you'll get a couple of trade offers. Anyway, this site is fast, cheap, and safe. I recommend checking it out. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. It'd really be appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Happy investing. See ya.